if you want to make the most out of your cauliflower you have to harvest it at the right time cauliflower is one of those crops that can be just a little bit tricky to get it at the right moment it'll take a bit of practice but in this video i'm going to show you one or two tips to make sure that you can properly enjoy your cauliflower harvest hello everyone thank you all so much for joining in this is Dylan from the Trinity Gardener channel and this is a continuation of last week's video which was a cauliflower grain guide in this week I'm going to show you how to harvest your cauliflower to make sure that you can properly enjoy the fruit of your labor now to harvest your cauliflower at the optimum time you have to have a basic understanding of the anatomy or the life cycle of a cauliflower now believe it or not your cauliflower doesn't quite care whether or not you get a nice big cauliflower head to eat your cauliflower has one mission produce seeds to seed the earth all of your plants have that exact same mission it's our duty to figure out where in that life cycle it would be best for us to get a nice big cauliflower head to eat now look at these cauliflower heads and you can see the difference this one is young it's a young cauliflower and the head is nice and tight this one it's getting bigger the head is starting to separate slightly but the head is just still nice and tight and this one which is one i'm going to harvest today the head is now starting to separate now the absolute best time to harvest a cauliflower is when that head is nice and tight the problem that we have in trinidad and just in the caribbean or any kind of hot climate cauliflower just like all of your brassicas they don't like our hot tropical climate we have varieties that can grow here yes but those big massive heads you see people growing in more temperate countries we can't really get that in trinidad okay unless you really pump it pump it pump it with chemicals and maybe you can get it there so the point is the cauliflower is not going to maintain tightness while getting huge so we're going to get generally smaller heads than what you might see in videos from people who come from colder climates because they have a climate that can support that cauliflower once it takes the heat in trinidad or just in the caribbean it is going to want to separate and what is that separation about the cauliflower head each part well they call it like cauliflower curds right c-u-r-d-s those parts are florets they will separate and create like maybe like a hundred different stems with the flower coming out from them i don't want to do that to this cauliflower because um, i want to actually eat this cauliflower but if i were to leave them like i were to leave this one here the pieces of the cauliflower there they're just going to sort of grow out and then they're going to produce a flower and that flower itself is going to contain the seeds that it would then use to spread around and birds will probably eat the seeds and then they take the take it other places and um, that's how you get cauliflower to you know to seed all right now if that's your mission then you know no problem but i'm going to wager that the majority of you you just want to eat a cauliflower head you don't actually want to produce cauliflower seeds and in that case you want to make sure that you get your cauliflower head when it hasn't started to fully separate that you can see the head is there the reason i leave mine now this is up to your preference i like to get the biggest possible head out of my cauliflower so i leave it until i start seeing a bit of the separation in the head so it's not as tight as this one but i can see some separation so that's going to allow it a bit more time to grow and as soon as i start to see it starting to separate somewhat i'll harvest it which is what i'm going to do today now if you try it like that and you think that you know you don't like the taste of it just just yet or you maybe think it's a little bit because when it starts to separate like that it starts to get a little bit bitter not very much but it can get a little bit there and if you think you want it to taste a bit sweeter then you want to harvest it maybe at this stage when it is still quite tight okay now you can harvest it at this stage here which is when it will be absolutely sweet the problem is that because of our hot climate again and we of course are growing completely 100 percent organic this is more or less the biggest that this head will be at that tightness it'll start to separate from there because the cauliflower just can't take our heat as much as you might think right i know we grow cauliflower and we have it here but um, the techniques that are used to produce those big heads that you see they aren't 100 percent organic techniques the if you're 100 percent organic this is what we're dealing with in trinidad if you actually look at any seed pack cauliflower is usually going to be listed amongst plants that have to be grown around in that 20 degrees celsius kind of range for it to be nice and comfortable perfect temperature for cauliflower that's why people in temperate countries they grow it like in your spring and then in your fall it's not popular as a summer crop at all and the heat in a lot of those countries um, even in temperate countries where it does get colder than trinidad when they get hot they get hot hotter than trinidad by far 
and the cauliflower dish will not grow as soon as it it will grow but as i was explaining in the cauliflower green guide as soon as that cauliflower takes that heat it's going to say listen i can't do this anymore it is going to bolt even before the head forms properly even as small as this one this could bolt if this were to go through just excessive excessive heat this could bolt and that would be the end of the cauliflower you either pick it before it bolts or the cauliflower will just bolt produce the flowers and then you can't eat anything from there and some people have messaged me and said okay why is my cauliflower growing up that's why your cauliflower just became uncomfortable and being uncomfortable doesn't have to be just a matter of the temperature it can be that it just wasn't watered properly right if it's lacking water then it's going to bolt if it's lacking nutrients it's also going to bolt can be a bit temperamental definitely would be trouble but all of these things contribute to why cauliflower is just a bit more on the pricier range um, when it comes to your in comparison to many other crops that just grow a lot better in our tropical weather it can be grown but you do have to take stock of all of these things here now very important thing is that when you are harvesting your cauliflower your homegrown organic cauliflower please do not neglect the leaves these cauliflower leaves here are delicious they're soft they're sweet imagine pak choy without any just imagine a sweeter kind of pak choy taste or cabbage taste as well stir fry them use them as wraps fry them if you want um just amazing 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 resource that should not be wasted when you harvest your cauliflower so let's do some harvesting so get yourself a good garden shears or a sharp knife will do the trick as well now unlike broccoli that produces multiple side shoots the cauliflower doesn't you just get this one head so you don't want to worry too much about leaving anything on here so cut it straight at the bottom in the stalk itself and then after you can decide which leaves you end up taking and there we go i really hope that you enjoyed this video but more importantly i hope that you learned something from this video i hope it's going to help you enjoy your cauliflower a lot more i remember if you know someone who'd be interested in this kind of information not just to grow cauliflower but also to grow any kind of food 100 percent organic then share this video with them help them to grow more food for themselves and their family remember as always you can follow us on instagram tiktok and on facebook and you can see stuff coming out of our garden all the time and remember i am dylan from the trinity gardener channel reminding you to get up and get green take care